Hey everybody, they're about to put a brain implant in humans in six months. Elon Musk is rolling out his Neuralink. <clears throat> they're already putting it in monkeys. Uh, they're able to move the cursor on the computer with just their brain, just thinking about it. This mm -hmm. is really uh, <laughs> Terminator type stuff that we're gonna be talking about. And I have been studying up on this all day. I've got some stuff printed out that Stacy's gonna read and I've got some pros to talk about the cons are pretty evident to everybody, right. I would imagine. Uh, but we'll talk about that as well. But just think about the how good this is going to look mm -hmm. to the masses that follow Elon Musk. They do whatever he did, you know, just to be like him. You know. Well, not only that, but it'd be good for people that you know have injuries and stuff. And we get into that later. But basically, he actually so he's been working on this for a while, and I think most of us that follow him kind of know about it. He's been putting them in monkeys, like Chris said. There's pros and cons to that trials. I've heard different things. I have not been able to find a lot of facts on it. I do know right now that they've sent it, they've submitted, I think, all the paperwork to the FDA for approval. So he has come out and said that he is confident that they will be ready for human trials within six months. And you guys, people were actually lining up and already said, hey, I'd do it. And he even laughed and said, you guys don't even know, but I may have one of these implants in my brain right now when he was up making the speech. Yeah. When he yeah. was talking about it. Yeah, there's some speculation that he does. It could be. But this thing is interesting. It basically, well, you you describe it a little bit of how you were described where it connects. Yeah, so it's... It's tiny wires that they put, they embed in your brain. Well, basically, it's a really horrific surgery. We'll just start there for a second. They literally take your scalp off. They take, they go into your, your skull. I got, I got a video I want to show them. Roll the video. To get an N1 device, it's essentially these steps. Targeting and the incision, drill the craniectomy, remove the tough outer meningeal layer called the dura, then insert the thin flexible threads of electrodes, place the implant into the hole we created, and then that's it. You've got an implant under the skin. Look, Ma, no wires. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I mean, seriously, no wires, but I don't actually have one. The surgical robot does the thread insertion part of the surgery. This is because it would be very difficult to do manually. Imagine taking a hair from your head and trying to stick it into a jello covered by saran wrap and doing this at a precise depth and position and doing this 64 times within a reasonable amount of time. So this is another view real quick. Uh, on the left is the uh, view of the insertion area. And on the right, uh, what the robot's going to do is it's going to peel the array uh, the threads one by one from its silicon backing and insert it into the targets that we uh, predetermined in the targeting view. So. There you go. That's the first insertion. So we're going to see a couple more insertions. It's really bad. So you guys see, that's super, super, that so is not a pretty surgery. It's supposed to bridge the signals from the motor cortex to the Neuralink device to operate your muscles. Mm -hmm. So they're saying that if, if you've got a severed spine, right. you're going to be able to walk with this Neuralink. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're blind and you've never seen before since birth, this Neuralink will make it to where you can see. Mm -hmm. This is some far out stuff. Yes. It's, uh, it's here. It's here, and mm -hmm. it is. Me and the Economic Ninja were talking about it today, and it's just uh, really crazy. The wind's blowing. Well, my Well, the notes scientific everywhere. portion of it is sounds so amazing, and to a lot of these people, if I was in that situation, man, I would be all over it because I can't imagine living. Well, you know, if you'd had a wreck or something, and you were it, had different issues. It puts and, me in mind of grandmother when grandmother broke her hip. She slipped on some jello in the Ryan's, you know, all old people like to go eat at Ryan's. <laughs> and she slipped on some jello, broke her hip. And I remember when she was in her hospital, in the hospital bed, she said, Christopher, she said, we don't sue. That's just not what we do. She said, but when I'm laying here and ant, it feels like ants are biting me because it's so hot mm -hmm. in this bed, it makes me want to sue. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the same thing. This is going to look really promising to a lot of people. And I cannot judge them for it. Nope. Can you imagine being promised you could walk if you yep. just put this computer chip in your head? Mm -hmm. RC. Or, or you, if you were born without arms, you'd be able to type faster yep. than somebody with hands. Mm -hmm. Or send a message to your friend right now across the world. Just think about it. The implant in your brain. 
uh, this sounds so far out. It, it's hard for me to talk about it. It's, it sounds like I'm talking about a sci-fi movie. It does. And also, supposedly, it's programmable from what you were telling me because they were saying... That's some more of it. Yeah. So it's it, upgradable. Mm -hmm. You can... Uh, you know, he mentioned, you know, it, we don't want to put a iPhone 1 in your head and you would want the iPhone 14. Right. So they're, they're making it to where it's upgradable. I kind of figure, I spent a long time looking at it, and they need a welder in there to help them because <laughs> uh, it looks like they're going to need a port. And aside from pulling the scalp back and, and going through the bone and putting a whole new thing in there, it looks like they just need a plug-in if, if they're going to do it. But oh, right now it is completely wireless completely rechargeable yeah it um, is so here was what was interesting also this is this is the part tell me you're explaining why elon musk said he wanted to do this that's what stuck out to me the most the primary motivation is when he was mm -hmm. talking he was talking about you know why he wanted to do this and he said the primary motivation was and i quote what do we do about ai mm -hmm. and so he's using an ai method to go against create AI. cyborgs half part human half robot that's essentially what he's doing it gives he's saying it's going to give humans a shot at fighting or you know being as smart as ai so he's allowing us to become programmed with all this information so that we're as smart as the programs or robots or whatever they're making that have ai yeah just think about it you could download anything into your brain that you wanted to know oh you want to be a rocket scientist okay and you're, all of a sudden you know everything in an uh, encyclopedia about rocket science. You so know, then basically it's taking away human characteristics. It's making us more program them like robots in, in some form or fashion. Yeah. I mean, I mean could, it start, could, it, could it start affecting like your your moods? Could it start affecting like your, your you know what I'm saying? Like a human, you know, uh, feelings that we have? It said. I mean, because this is going really it crazy, will you interface guys. with your entire brain. So all that comes from there. Yeah. So yes, the answer is yes, it will be able to affect everything. If it can make the blind see, which I just don't, I have a hard time even saying that. Coming out of my mouth is hard for me to do. But uh, yeah, if, they're, if they said, that's what they're saying it'll do. And It'll he be said able to in six months, everything. yeah. He said in six months that they, well, like the FDA has apparently approving it, so we'll see. I did read one article that one guy said that he said it's going to be really hard for the FDA to know where to set the bar because this has never been done before. Um, I just think of, man, that's just a pretty crazy experiment to put on somebody. And then I'll start, start thinking, okay, so if you can reprogram it, what's to say that the government can't reprogram it? No, or the government the... can't shut it off? Or, I mean, when you're putting something in your body that is controlled and reprogrammed by something else the benefits i get it if you can't walk and you can't see and you don't have arms and you're able to type and just using your brain where they were showing a monkey he was using his brain and he was moving the cursor around with this decoder he can then control a cursor just by thinking about it without even moving the joystick he can play with this decoder a variety of games also a grid task where he's moving the white dot towards the yellow target Every time he gets one, he receives a drop of his favorite smoothie. And he chooses to play this game every day. Here you can see his performance from early 2021, around the time we released the previous demo. It's quite accurate, but it's a bit slower than what we would like. And Kersen Control is the foundation for interacting with most computer applications. So since then, we've been working to improve Kersen's speed and accuracy. As you can see, it's much, much faster. Almost twice as fast. <laughs> However, um, and different things like that. But man, the downside is so scary. And there's guys, there's guys. We were just watching that YouTube. What was it, The Beast? Mr. Beast Mr. said Beast. he will be getting one as soon as a thousand or two thousand people get it. Uh, he'll be signing up. And they, and the people in the podcast are like, "Are you serious? You know." Why would you do that? And one guy said, why not? <laughs> well, I can think of several reasons why not. I can too. But what he said was, just imagine being having more knowledge, having mm -hmm. a thousand times more knowledge than anybody. Mm -hmm. Be imagine being able to think what you want to say to somebody and, it, and it, you talk to them, you know? Right. Or you're cooking and instead of Googling the recipe, you, it just pops in your mm -hmm. head, you know? Really futuristic stuff, but remember, 
in the end times, knowledge will be greatly increased. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I cannot think of a better explanation than what we're, we're looking at right now, dead in the eyes. It I mean, is. it's here, uh, and it's, it is going to be really something to see unfold, but I was, I think I will. I will play the Mr. Beast. It's like a two minute clip. There's a lot of cursing in it. Uh, I don't ever put that on my channel, but uh, I'm going to put it at the end of this video. I might watch it one more time to see how bad the cursing really is. Or maybe was, just put a link in the description. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. If you choose to go watch it, that's up to you because the cursing is, and I just don't like yeah, that on the channel. Yeah, there's a lot of I don't want to read that But on the there's a lot of people, you guys, that are going to go with this. And so they're going to have access to knowledge, if that's what they're saying, way above what we will be having access to knowledge when we have to go online and Google. So I don't know. There's so many different things that go through my head when I start processing it and trying to wrap my head around and think about this. And um, we were talking about AI just a while ago. If you've got uh, family members and friends and uh, that don't know about it or, mm -hmm. or maybe unsure when I talk about uh, AI, mm -hmm. uh, check out The Social Dilemma. Yes. Sit down and just pop some popcorn mm -hmm. <laughs> and watch it. Yes. It'll really kind of help you wrap your mind around what he's talking about yeah. because the algorithms are out of the bag. Mm -hmm. We really can't put that back nope. in the bottle you know that genie's out it can't be put back in the bottle that they're starting to create their self and they get they get so much faster and smarter way quicker than the human does so watch that and that'll kind of help you brace for impact uh, i don't think it'll encourage you to get a neuro link <laughs> but maybe it will i'm not going to judge you it's important to stay open-minded about these things because you got to see both sides. I try to bring up both sides right. of everything we talk about, but you can't get too open-minded because your brains will fall yeah. out. <laughs> he has helped me though become more open-minded. Sometimes I tend to be a little bit more closed off, but I don't know. This this is an interesting, um, well, new thing that's coming up that uh, you keep hearing about things like this ever so often. You're like, is this really going to happen? Is this really going to happen? And sure enough, he made he just made an announcement yesterday, I believe it was. And uh, the video is actually three hours long. And Chris listened to, I think, almost all of it. Yeah, I, I've got a lot of stuff I could, I might, I'm going to get more into this. I want to try to follow it because this is going to be a big deal in the future as we figure out what it does. Yep. If they get it past the FDA or how fast, I should say how fast because there's just too much. It lines up too good with what I think is coming. Well, the agenda they're pushing. So, yeah, well, well, it will happen. No, well, yeah, but anyway. Anyway. All right, guys, have an awesome, awesome day. We'll see you in the next one. Later.